We all wish there was some crystal ball that we could look into that would tell us our chances of having a heart attack in the next 10 years. Maybe your doctor has looked at your total cholesterol level and your LDL cholesterol level and, and plugged those into a, a calculator of risk and said, hey, you've got a five or 10% chance of a heart attack. Here, take this statin. Well, there actually is somewhat of a crystal ball you can look into and it definitely ain't your cholesterol levels. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience. And this video is gonna help you understand what is a CAC score, a coronary artery calcium score? How do you get it? What does it cost? What, what does it involve? What do the results mean? You may have heard some rumblings out there in the medical and nutrition community that using your cholesterol values as predictors of heart disease risk factors are really not that helpful at all. And there is a test that actually is quite helpful at predicting your 10-year risk of having a heart attack, and that's coronary artery calcium score. Some people call this a CAC scan or a CAC score. It's a very simple test that does involve some radiation. It's actually a CAT scan. But unlike most CAT scans, it's a very, very quick test. You're usually in the scanner about a minute. The entire procedure takes less than 20 minutes. Uh, and you will get more radiation than in a chest X-ray, but much, much less radiation than you would get from a standard CAT scan of your chest. You can have the scan done at your local hospital or at a local diagnostic imaging center. Very often you do not even need an order from your doctor for a CAC scan. You can just go to the imaging center and they'll do it for you. Uh, in some communities, you will have to have an order from your, your doctor to get this. Your doctor may be reluctant to order a CAC scan and may in fact not even know what a CAC scan is or the power of prediction that it gives both you and your doctor for your heart disease risk. Uh, you may have to use some ninja level deception strategies to get your doctor to order this test. You may even have to go uh, just a single visit to an urgent care center or another doctor just to get this test if your doctor refuses. But I think if you'll check around with local diagnostic imaging centers, you'll find that one of those will do this scan without a doctor's order. These scans typically cost, if you pay cash, somewhere between $100 and $250, which I consider a great investment in your health and your future health. And so I think, it, I think for that price, you definitely should have this done. If you get one done without your doctor's order, then you definitely will have to pay cash for this. If you can get your doctor to order it, more and more insurance companies are coming around and starting to reimburse for this test. If you are developing coronary artery disease, and coronary means the arteries that feed your heart, that's, that's which arteries we're looking at with this scan, if you're starting to develop coronary artery disease, then your body first tries to use cholesterol kind of as a spackle or a bondo to try to heal the damage done in those heart arteries by chronically high levels of inflammation of insulin and glucose. But then the kind of the secondary splinting of this plaque, your body starts to develop or to, to deposit calcium in these plaques to, to try and stabilize them and keep them from getting worse. And that's what the coronary artery calcium scan actually looks for is the calcium buildup in these plaques in your heart arteries. This scan cannot see the cholesterol buildup. It cannot see whether the plaque is stable or unstable. It cannot see any of those things. It only looks for the calcium buildup in the plaques in your heart arteries. And I've included a few pictures here so you can see what that looks like. The computer part of the CAT scan uh, that you're gonna get actually does some calculations and it comes up with a score and that's your CAC score. And it's based on how much calcium is built up in the placking in your heart arteries. And I've got a, a, a kind of a table here that shows the different scores. And we, this is still developing science. So we don't know definitively if a score means a certain level of risk, but we've done enough thousands and thousands of these scans that we're getting a pretty good idea. And these scans, uh, a CAC scan is actually a better predictor 
of your 10 year risk of having a heart attack than is your cholesterol numbers, than is the calculator that the American College of Cardiology uses. This is a very good predictor of your possible risk of having a heart attack in the next 10 years. I've included a link down in the show notes below of a calculator that you can actually plug your, your CAC score into if you've already had one done. If you have not had one done, I highly encourage you to have this conversation with your doctor. And when you get your score results, I want you to do two things. First of all, have a conversation with your healthcare provider about your score results and what that means. And then secondly, I want you to understand that your score result is not set in stone. There have been multiple hundreds of examples of people who have lowered their CAC score as years go by. The, the, what's supposed to happen is that your CAC score is supposed to get from three to 10% worse each year you live. And, but that does not have to be the case. That is not inevitable. You can actually reverse your CAC score with a diet that focuses on keeping your glucose level at a low normal level, keeping your insulin level at a low normal level, and that decreases your levels of chronic inappropriate inflammation. The two diets that I've found that do this the most reliably are a real whole food, one ingredient ketogenic diet and or a carnivore diet. At the end of this video, I'm going to pop links up here and here to my playlists for both of these diets. If you like some veg in your diet, then start with keto. If you don't mind eating a diet that is 100% meat and other animal products, then Carnivore 101 may be the diet for you. Either of these diets is going to keep your blood sugar level very low normal, they're gonna keep your insulin levels very low normal, and they're gonna greatly, drastically reduce your levels of chronic inappropriate inflammation. If you haven't already done so, please take one second and click that subscribe button. It's right down there, I think. And there's a little bell button right beside it. Click that too so that every time I post a new video, you'll be one of the very first people to know. If you really appreciate my mission of reversing obesity, diabetes, fatty liver, and other chronic diseases by eating a proper human diet, then please consider signing up to my Patreon. There's a link down in the show notes. It's a super quick sign up and you can throw a buck or two my way so that I have more time and more resources to make videos just like this. Thanks a lot. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.